happy Thursday, and I'm Clover Thursday. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I finally lived up to my promise, and I'm showing you my freaking layers panel. Yay! Um, I actually was playing around with a new Photoshop um, Windows arrangement, like in the Windows section of Photoshop. It's the painting layer, and it kind of reminds me of the Illustrator interface, which is a little triggering, but it's fine. Um, what I really like about it is actually the little navigation window. It'll it'll pop up during the video, but it's really nice to have a little thumbnail of what you're doing. So maybe you'll see me zoom out, way out a lot less. <laughs> so I started off with a pencil sketch. This was just a sketch in my sketchbook, and I'm, you know, I added a big plane of red because I really wanted to play with the idea of having just a big, huge graphic shape in it. Um, and now I'm doing the final lines. Um, I'm doing it in a brownish color because I'm actually planning to do a bit more of a painterly style with this. And I find just sort of a quick and dirty way to get like a sharp painterly image is actually to still have lines. Um, but just to make them a similar color or the same color as like the general base you're going to be flatting everything in. Um, you know, pro tip, I am not so pro, but pro, pro, no pro Jason, oh whatever. Um, I just find that it works for me personally, um, and it, it makes the most sense to me. <laughs> um, right now I'm actually just putting in the values, which is similar to sort of how I, in my last painting I was doing the um, shading and grayscale, but this time it's just with one color. So again, that principle of organizing your values and keeping it simple is still the same. Instead of just gray and shades of black, you're just using brown and shades of darker brown or lighter brown. Um, so that's just how I'm doing it. And I kept um, a line art layer just because just to um, kind of add that little hint of line, that little bit of hardness around shapes. And I think it worked really well, the uh, kind of marrying of like digital paint, like the digital shading, uh, painting, and the little bit of line art. I'm actually pretty happy with that. And here I am working on the hands um, as an addendum. The hands were a little rough by the end of this illustration, this video, but I did eventually go back and touch them up, but I just didn't have time in the sitting and recording. And this is an interesting thing I'm doing. Um, you see how I linked those layers? I put that blue shape on top and then did a thing and then suddenly it adhered to the shape of it. But if you actually press um, option, or I believe it's alt on a windows um, between two layers you can actually sort of link them together and that was the thing I was trying to say in my last video but I just couldn't show you the layers to see that so I actually use that to you know I use that to color color my layers sometimes when I shade in this way so that's what I did on the hair and then it's just the blending mode of color and voila you get like really vibrant blue hair. Do I have an affinity with girls with blue hair? I don't know. It seems like it. Two for two. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm just painting in the eyes and the details, and this is a kind of a fun part for me. Um, I don't really get to sit down and like really paint something, so it's always fun to do that when I get a chance to. And again, this is a personal work, just sort of experimenting. Um, yeah, originally in the sketch, she had legs, like she was like sitting and like holding her tea. But I decided I didn't really like that last minute. <laughs> um, I just felt it broke up that composition. Um, but I wanted to try something different and make a pattern, actually. Um, I. I've only done patterns really briefly, but like they're really fun and easy to make. So I'm trying to do a plaid pattern. So I'm making a bunch of stripes um, 
yeah, I, I, I googled this on the internet of like quick ways to make a plaid pattern. You'll find lots of resources on that. Um, but yeah, it's just work like on a separate file. Just make sure it's in a square composition and you do your pattern thing. I actually would love to do more videos on patterns. We'll probably do that. Yeah, and then you go to edit, define pattern, boom, you got a pattern. And I was able to fill it in with uh, the special effects on the layers. And now I'm just sort of playing around and trying to make it not look too crazy. <laughs> and I started painting over top of it to add some depth. And I'm just playing with brushes, kind of contemplated giving her some fur, but didn't really look what I wanted. So I'm just adding some shading to make her a little collar and just kind of play around with that effect of having like this super graphic pattern, but still putting like, like this tone and shading on it a little bit. I think it was a really cool effect and I'm probably gonna like carry that into some other things I do. And I'm just putting in her coffee cup. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just working on that now. Like, this is a fairly straightforward illustration, but I think it was just nice to be able to show um, my layers and my setup and talk about that. Because I keep yammering on about it in other videos, but I haven't actually gotten a chance to show you guys. So I'm, and I'm actually really liking this configuration. Like, I love that navigating window to death and I like having my colors a little bit more accessible so I'm probably gonna keep painting in this um, kind of uh, windows arrangement and I'm adding her glasses they were in the original sketch and I thought they looked super cute and I always wanted to do those big ass round glasses on a character so yeah, today is the day <laughs> and that pretty much wraps up the video this is a pretty straightforward illustration, um, but I was just glad to post it because I was able to show you my layers and all that stuff. And that's also kind of an important part of the process, right? Like how you organize things and color selection. So I'm glad about that. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you like to keep track of what I'm doing, um, I post every Thursday. Feel free to subscribe. Um, if you want to see more of my work and my daily happenings and my dumb meme posts, check out my social media and I hope you enjoyed this video. Congrats on getting to the end and I'll see you next week. Bye!